kiddos welcome back to our channel today we're going to see the story of puss in boots once upon a time there lived a miller who had three sons when the miller died he left each son an inheritance the eldest son was left the mill the middle son received a donkey and the younger son was left with just a cat named puss being given just a cat didn't seem fair and david was a bit upset his two brothers were happy with their inheritance david sat under the tree thought to himself puss and i can live in that little house in the woods david heard a voice behind him give me a pair of boots david looked all around and all he saw was puss puss said oh i will need a bag as well as the boots if you 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 can you can talk as the day would nervously yes but keep it quiet get me the boots and you will never have to work again if i never have to work think of all the good i can do for people thought david right off we go to the shoemaker he exclaimed boots for the cat said the shoemaker i have never seen a puss in boots before the boots and the bag were ready the next morning puss pulled on the boots and posed in the mirror as david and puss walked back home they saw a tree with beautiful ripe apricots i have had an idea said puss pick about 10 of those apricots please i have only got claws you see oh oh of course agreed david pop them in the bag please master asked puss then i am going to carry out the first part of my plan after a little walk puss arrived at the king's palace he knocked at the door the doorkeeper asked who is it i have got something delicious for the king's dinner said puss these were sent to you by my master lord marquis af carabas go back and thank him for this comforting gift said the king the princess called the butler Give this excellent talking cat a glass of a uh, finest milk. Puss in boots now set off for the jungle. He laid a trap with carrots in it and caught a rabbit. Puss in boots also caught a couple of partridges with the grains. Puss in boots then went to meet the king. He presented the partridges and rabbits to the king. He said, "Your Majesty, these are gifts from my master, the Marquis of Carabas." The king was very pleased with the gifts. Over the next few days, Puss brought more apricots, rabbits, and partridges for the king. David was amazed when Puss told him about his imaginary Lord Marquis of Carabas. One day, Puss told David to go to the river for a swim. While he was having a lovely swim, Puss took all his clothes and hid them behind a bush. Just as clever Puss had expected the king's carriage came along As soon as Puss saw the carriage she cried out 
Your Majesty, my master was swimming and someone stole his clothes. We can't have that, can we dear? He said to Princess Elsetta. No daddy, he sent us all those delicious apricots, so we have to do something, she replied. The princess went back to the palace, picked out some fine clothes. She told the butler to take them back to the river. The butler handed Puss the clothes. Puss invited King and Princess to the castle of Marquis of Carabas. David was now dressed in such magnificent clothes that he looked like a prince. I don't think they will like our little house in the woods, Puss, he said. I have a plan, master, replied Puss. Follow me. They came to a field where harvesters were working. Harvesters, the king and princess Elsita are coming and just the fields belong to the marks of Carabas. The cat runs into the golden wheat fields. The wheat fields belong to a scary ogre. Puss tells the farmers Tell the king these fields belong to the Marquis of Carabas. If you do this, I will get rid of the scary ore. Then the cat runs to the scary ore's castle. Later, the king asks the farmers who wants these golden wheat fields. They say, Marcus of Carabas. At the scary ogre's castle, the scary ogre catches the cat. Then he says, How dare you come to this castle? Puss asks the scary ogre, Can you change into a big lion? Ha 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 ha, that is so easy, scary ogre said. A scary ogre changes into a big clan. Puss says, but you can't change into a small mouse. A scary or quickly changes into a little mouse. Puss eats the mouse. He released all the farmers from scary owls as he said. Now the castle belongs to David. He brings the king and the princess to the castle. Welcome to the Marquis of Carabas castle, says Hussein Boots. Later, the Marquis and the princess get married. Puss in Boots becomes the knight of Carabas. And they all lived happily ever after. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.